The Greek city-states, a faction that was never meant to be in the game. But here we are, added right at the end of development. A collective union of cities vowing to defend their Hellenistic culture from potential invaders. In game, they are basically a union led by Sparta. Sparta is the capital, the family are Spartans, they are Sparta. Now this faction is not bad. Overall, I think they are portrayed quite well, given the limitations. However, I still think this faction should have been so much more and so could do with some improvement. Improvements that better reflect the history of this faction, but in a way that adds more gameplay elements. First of all, one suggested from the community was to have it split up like how Rome is. Each city is an independent city, but joined in a union, and the requirements for one to break away and start a civil war would be far less. Let's say Sparta or Athens takes three to four settlements, then that alone would be enough for it to collapse into internal fighting. I like this idea. However, this is not what I will be going for. Although I would like to divide Carthage, I think, given the limitations and the balance, the Greeks are better united into one force. And on top of this, I also won't be changing their starting borders. The Greeks are balanced overall, and I won't want to make too many changes that could upset that balance. However, before I go into how I would fix the Greeks, here's a little backstory that would be needed. They were a free people, living in walled cities, often preferring the more civilised cultural life over one of warfare. Not all of them though. Interesting governments formed, such as democracies, and the cities produced some of the greatest artists and philosophers of the ancient world. Each city was unique, having their own style. Athens was a seafaring democracy, Sparta the complete opposite, but each other city, although less known, also had their own levels of individualism. They would often band together to oppose outside foes. The Greeks, although they did not always agree, I see as having an overall level of respect and willingness to help each other out against outside foes. This is how I propose for that individualism to be portrayed. There is a hidden resource on the map, Sparta it's called. If a settlement has this invisible resource, that settlement can train Spartans. Likewise with elephants, although elephants are visible on the map. The Sparta resource only exists, I believe, in Sparta and Syracuse, a close ally of Sparta historically. This is my idea. In Crete, put a hidden resource called Crete. This allows Cretan archers to be recruited there if you play as the Greek city-states, not as mercenaries, but as a normal unit. Athens has its own resource that allows an Athenian ship to be built. Maybe elephants in Apollonia to represent Pyrrhus. Or maybe put the elephants in Cyrene and something else to represent Pyrrhus. Each Greek city has its own special resource. This, like the Spartan resource, can only be used by the Greeks and can only help that one specific city, giving each Greek city its feel of individualism. This would also create some form of motive to conquer the Greek world, make it an adventure. The Greeks were all about freedom. The Greek city's campaign would force the player into that route. The player would conquer former Greek cities to gain those units. Their campaign would become one of liberation, as the Greek settlements to the Greek faction would be more valuable than to any other. Croton, Tarentum, Massilia, each one, when taken, will offer something unique, guiding you down that historical liberation path. It does not need to be units. 
the resource could unlock buildings, unique chains of temples, really anything. Overall, this would create the feel of the Greeks. The Greek cities would be portrayed as they deserve to be, but keeping them united at the same time, as to not push the engine too far. And I think I am satisfied there. The Greeks were not a broken faction, but I felt they could do with a bit more flavour, and this would certainly provide that. Anyway, comment down below what you think, Anything I could add, don't say dumb stuff like rebalance or fix for AI, those are too obvious, they need to be more interesting ideas, but also don't go too out there and suggest what is impossible on the engine. This series usually just likes to take a feature from the game, but then apply it differently to another faction. To make it more accurate and enjoyable at the same time. Also, covering Medieval 2 again next week, let me know what faction you want me to go over. Leave a like if you agree, subscribe and turn on notifications for more. But for now, until the next one, tomorrow's video, Melgon.